This is Daryl Cagle. I'm talking to Tommy Tom Dean, cartoonist for uh, at, in Indonesia and in Jakarta. What is your newspaper, Tommy? Uh, the newspaper is the Jakarta Post. It, is that the big newspaper in Jakarta? Uh, yes, uh, this is the, that is the uh, newspaper in Jakarta in lang in English language. English language yes. newspaper. Yes. Is it a national newspaper? Yep, it's a national newspaper in Jakarta. Very good. Yeah. Well, uh, tell us uh, what it's like being the uh, news paper cartoonist in uh, Indonesia? Yeah. Uh, when how do you think it's different from being an American cartoonist and how do you see your cartoons fitting into the world? Okay, if we compare about the, especially for editorial cartoonists in Indonesia, uh, in the Asian world, Asian culture, uh, then the uh, West culture, it's very different because in Indonesia uh, you, you can, you cannot draw very freely or very uh, strongly uh, drawing about politicians with with expressive or very uh, very gory or or mocking with uh, drawing like as an animal or something like that. So, so you have to be fairly complimentary to your country's leaders. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, do you ever get in trouble for being too uh, rude in the way that you draw your country's leaders? Yeah, maybe when I drawing something about my politician or their government act and, and their <coughs> political act. Uh, usually I draw uh, edited by my editor. So the editor just choose. I send them a three editorial cartoon and they put what uh, they like it to publish in the newspaper. Do you do that every day? Do you submit three ideas and they pick one? Maybe two or three ideas. And so they pick one of them. And you notice that they regularly pick the ideas that are not so strong and not so insulting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they <coughs> they uh, choose one and publish in the newspaper. And usually if the government don't, didn't like it, they tell the editor and then the editor tell to me about my drawing. So the government responds directly uh, with the cartoons to no, your editor? No, no. But to the director only, I and see. then they talk to me. So, what do you hear from the government about your cartoons? What is it they say that they don't like? Um, usually, they don't like about. Uh, they say about, hey, what you're drawing is not like that. They they talk the, the what in their version about my cartoon, but just uh, they show their. Uh, unlike my cartoon, something like that. Just tell them. When the government calls the newspaper and says they don't like something in a cartoon, after, is after the day I publish it, that's after the cartoon's published, and yeah. uh, you know we get that here. Sometimes we get reaction to cartoons, and people from the government will say that was terrible, but you know the newspaper but editor the will huh? will say, oh, yeah, well we'll do what we want anyway. So do your editors respond to? to say, well, we won't do that again, or do, do uh, you... Yeah, the editor just uh, tell them that uh, we we doing the best what we publish, and thank you for your for, for the critic, for the input for government, but they just uh, told me the warning, the warning about my drawing. The so you would call it a warning? Yeah. A warning. Do you get a sense then that there's a line that you cannot cross? Yes, in Indonesia there there are two main issue you cannot draw very very uh, freely. The the first issue is about the religion. You can draw a symbol about the uh, Islam symbol or Christian symbol because it's very very uh, sensitive. The people in Indonesia is very sensitive about that. They mm -hmm. can uh, going to the, going down to demo the my office in in the newspaper. And the second issue is uh, the sex, the sex symbol about the sex. And yes. They can, I can publish the sex issue in the uh, newspaper. Well, you know, we can't draw cartoons that are too sexy in the United States either. Uh, I mean, I mean, sex is uh, when we draw the people with the neck, naked mm -hmm. body or with the. <laughs> I think that's probably where most cartoonists oh, yeah, suffer the, the most uh, uh, from their editors 
uh, saying that they can't draw this or that. It's usually because the cartoon's too racy or it uses a bad word. Mm. Um, yeah, bad but words. what what's yeah. more more interesting, I think, to us is um, what you're not allowed to draw of the political leaders in your country, where the line is on on how insulting you can be in your cartoon mm -hmm. to your country's president. Oh, maybe I can give you one example about that. Mm -hmm. uh, in the current issue, I draw my president when uh, he he get the critic from the religion leader in my country that what he doing is all lying all, all the all the politicians in my country uh, give an opinion about my president that he his government is same as Nick, Nixon you know Nixon. same as Nixon. Nixon yeah same as Nixon with his political act and will something like that and then uh, my president tell about that's not. I'm not a liar. Something like that. And so I, was was that I'm going too far for you to draw your president yes. being like Nixon? Yeah, I I draw my president with a long nose, mm -hmm. and he say I'm not. I don't lie. Something like that. But my editor uh, tell me about how they don't have a brave to publish the picture, so I can maybe I can make very low low, low curtain. Any member of House of Representative in Indonesia? Mm -hmm. uh, tell in media that please don't don't please president don't be like Nixon something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know the kinds of cartoons that would be going over the line in America. Usually, it would be too mm -hmm. sexually explicit, to okay. uh, words that are insulting, uh, disrespectful of religion, but in, in general, a respectful tone. It, of, is what you'd expect in the newspaper, but in many countries, cartoonists are not allowed to draw their mm -hmm. uh, country's uh, leaders at all, mm -hmm. and or not allowed to say anything disrespectful or critical of their country's leaders. Mm -hmm. um, but you do criticize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you would say that the line is drawn at Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> any other interesting uh, uh, examples of when you went too far? Uh, example. Mm. Oh yeah, it's about George Bush. When I draw, uh, when the past years, I draw when the Pope, Pope criticizes Bush. Mm -hmm. I draw uh, George Bush like as children playing with a catapult in the in the front of Italia's uh, Iraq shop. Iran or Iraq shop. I have I have the picture now. and and Pope pointing on Bush. Don't be like that. And that was that was too much. Yeah, sorry. That was going too far. Yes, my editor tell tell me you can draw a Pope in our newspaper. Really? So uh, they restricted about when I draw about the religion leader. So how do you think cartoons are most different in Indonesia from American cartoons? Yes, of course. How? What? What is the difference that you see? And the difference how we draw, we describe in the visual about the maybe in religion issues or uh, in political issues. So you would say much more conservative, much less. Yeah, most, most you feel there's less freedom in yeah, drawing less freedom. cartoons. So uh, I keep all my uncensored curtain for myself. Mm -hmm. I, I think someday I will publish it in another countries or another publication, and so all the morality responsibility could come to me, <laughs> not not by the publisher, not by the newspaper. Mm -hmm. So someday I have a plan to publish it for restricted people. <laughs> um, Tommy, another part of what you do is. Uh you do the International Cartoon Competition Circuit, and I uh, wondered if you want to talk a little bit about that. Okay. Uh, besides I drawing for the newspaper, I draw a cartoon for the competition and for the exhibition in my country. I arrange uh, many of Indonesian cartoons in Indonesia. I collect their best cartoon and make the, making the exhibition in the mall, in the public areas, and then mm. Uh, collecting the best and 
and send them and I, I invite them to send to the contests around the world. <coughs> and do you travel around to contests and do juries and things? I'm jury uh, for many in local contests in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And for the international, I joined many of the contests and won many prizes in the past. We just uh, <coughs> talked to Vladimir about how it's a different world for cartoonists. The American cartoonists don't participate in any of this, yeah. and, and the I, cartoons I'm are. I'm very are curious about that, and I want to ask you how uh, many cartoonists in America don't don't join in the contest. Well, it's a very different style of cartoon for us. We call them uh, daisies in the gun barrels cartoons or mm. uh, lyrical cartoons, yeah. and uh, uh, it's just not. Uh, not our style. I think for Americans to enter these kinds of con contests, we'd have to be drawing in a different style, w oh. trying to look like something that we're okay. we're not. Um, and, and you know, you do a nice little painting, and you send an original painting off, and yeah. and uh, you give them all rights uh, when you send it into the mm. contest. And yeah. it's just it, it's not the kind of thing I think that Americans would think oh, okay. to do. Okay, beside. I draw for the contest. Usually, I draw the cartoon not for just for the contest because when I, when I send the cartoon to the contest, I just send that and don't hope to be a winner. <laughs> I draw just for collecting all my cartoon to, to my directory, or my personal collection, and then I sell them to to the media or to to the advertising agency, to the media, to the publishing house as a stock. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I sell them as a stock, and uh, I s I sell the license of my cartoon, so they can buy buy stock to me, and I, they buy to me, and I can give the cartoon for their purpose. For for now, enough. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you very much, Daryl.